Welcome back to the Boondocks Homestead. Today we're going to make something really good, so don't go nowhere. All right, you guys, we're going to make some beef tips and gravy. My version. <laughs> okay, here's my bowl. This is going to um, coat our meat. Okay, so I put about a teaspoon of brown sugar. And I put about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika. I put about a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. And I put about a half a teaspoon of salt. I don't think I put a half a teaspoon of salt. Probably a little less than a half a teaspoon of salt. So these are our seasonings, right? And we need to... Um, where did my spoon go? Okay. This is not a very good spoon, you guys. It's old. It's old as the hills, like me. Okay, now I'm going to put probably about half a cup of flour in there, okay? I need something else. Let's get this. There we go. Okay, so I got that mixed up, right? I'm going to put a few of these onions in here, okay? I just chopped up about a half of an onion. You don't have to have that much if you don't want it. I just had it in the refrigerator. And then I'm just going to throw these little things in there. My little beef tips. That's what I call them, you guys. You don't have to go out and get nothing special for this dinner. Choose what you got. I'm going to show you something. I wish I had some room temperature butter, but we're just going to use this, guys. And I don't, I'm not getting my mixer out. Sometimes I get like that, and I'm like, no, nope, I ain't doing it. I'm just going to use my tater masher, and that's what they had to do back in the day. They didn't have no electricity, they didn't have no mixer. Okay, I'll put my butter in there. Let that melt just a little bit because my I just pulled that out of the fridge and I usually I leave this out But I don't leave a stick out until I take it out of the fridge. So I've been having to buy a little bit of whole milk though Because what milk we're getting we're getting a lot of milk from the goat, but I'm feeding my baby my baby goat You ever see one of these? That is a tater masher Okay, you don't need a mixer I've got one. I've got several, but I just don't want to get it out because I got so much over here on the counter. I got so much going right now, so I'm just not going to do it. I'm going to put some salt in here. I'm going to put some pepper in here. You just put salt and pepper to your liking. I put about a half a stick of butter in there, and I think I had cut up about six, six or seven, like, just small potatoes like that. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit of milk. You don't do a little at a time, or you're going to have a watery mess if you don't. Just do a little at a time. A little bit more butter, or milk, I'm sorry. Now let's get, let's turn this. I'm going to turn this a little bit. Ooh, that's I can't tell you how good that smells. Woo wee. And all I do is just make sure there's no big lumps in it. You know what I'm saying? Let me get a let me just get a spoon and we'll try these out. I don't see no lumps. Let's try it. Wonderful, but you know what it's missing? You got it. And I'm not a salt person, but it needs salt. Okay. There we go. Done deal. See, that didn't take no time. I didn't have to drain my mixer. 
I didn't have to have that cord flopping around everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's just better. Look at this mess I've got. Hey, I am a messy uh, cook. I am. I will tell you right now. And there ain't no doubt about it. I just love to cook. And I'm not so much on the mess, but it comes with it, I reckon. Okay, these are about done. And I'm just going to turn this off, turn the fire off here in a minute. And see, that didn't cook very long. But we don't want it to cook much longer because we don't want it to be tough. Okay? See? Good. We got to get that off there. Okay. And you want to cook it high. Cook it on high when you do it. And it'll cook it fast. And then it'll... That'll just be good there. Okay. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these potatoes over here. Okay, now look. Look, I got so much going on. Now I'm going to punch my bread down. Okay. See that? Now it's going to rise again. I'm going to put it back in here. Oh, it feels so soft. Feels good. We're going to put it back in here and we're going to let it rise again. Okay, and then I'm going to make the balls out of it, and I'm going to let it rise again. It rises three times. It is so good. Usually my bread just goes twice. But those particular rolls. Okay, I'm going to put my meat over here because I'm going to make my gravy. Okay. I'm just going to put it over here. Okay, now we're going to make the gravy. I've got everything out here. And um, I might have to have a little flour. I've got such a mess, you guys. I'm like trying to get this done. Do you guys hear that out there? That's sleet. It's ice or something. I don't know what it is. It's going to be 60 degrees tomorrow. I don't know. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? I got so much dishes to do and everything. Okay, we're going to get this done. After we get this done, then we'll have the rolls. And then I'll probably get a can of maybe a corn we haven't had corn in a long time i know it has a lot of starch but we haven't had any in a long time and i've got some on the shelf that i canned so i may open up some of that we've been eating our sweet potatoes and stuff okay i'm gonna get this heat back on here while i'm talking to you i've got um okay so this recipe calls for a bouillon cube a beef one i don't have any bull i have chicken bouillon i'm not putting that in there so um i just used a, like a beef base to make uh, my broth and then it calls also for some cornstarch and water that's going to thicken your gravy up okay and then some Worcestershire sauce about a teaspoon and a half of that and some garlic powder and onion powder which we already put in our uh, meat but we're going to put some more in it I guess a little bit and um, you can put rosemary and thyme you can put a little bit of that stuff in there I'm not going to today I'm just not going to do it. I just don't have time to be doing that right now. So <laughs> we're not going to do it. Okay. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. And it, this is just me. I'm going to make, I'm going to get a little bit of this. I'm going to push down here where you can see. This is flour. Okay. All purpose flour. I'm going to get a little bit of this. And see, this has got my onions. And you can also put some garlic in there. I didn't. Um, that would have been good, though. But I didn't do it. I'm just going to put a little bit of flour in there like that. Just because. I'm going to let it cook a little bit. I'm going to get me a little bit of salt and pepper, you guys. Because I always salt and pepper my gravies. Always, always. And I'm just kind of giving that a little bit of a head start there. Um, to thickening. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put my Worcestershire sauce in my, um, can you see that? I'll put it up here where you can see it. Uh, in my beef broth. I'm just going to put a little bit of that in there. Okay. And stir that up. So I'm just pouring it all at once. No big deal. Okay. You can do it however, however you want to do it. 
I had about two tablespoons of my bacon grease in there. Okay, now I'm going to pour this in here. Ooh, that smells good. Fogging my glasses up, but it smells amazing. Mm-hmm. All right. We're going to put a little bit of onion powder. Put a little bit. And that rosemary and thyme, if you put any of that in there, that just make it really fragrant. But I don't think Tim cares about the fragrance. I just think he wants it in his belly. In his belly, in his belly. Okay. We're going to cook this for just a little bit. Okay. Looky there. Okay. Now, guess what? We're going to thicken this up. Let's get with it. Here we go. This is our cornstarch. Okay. May not need all this because I gave it a head start with that flour. Put a little more in it. Oh, this is going to be so good, you guys. Okay, now I'm going to put. Is that enough? Maybe a little bit more. Now it's icing again. <laughs> oh, I can't decide what it's going to be. Okay. All right. Lucky there. There it is. Let's get that. Let's turn that off. I'm going to turn that, put that in there. And get me a spoon. Hear that icing again? Can you just believe that? Look at that. That is wonderful, you guys. Just wonderful. It's going to be so good. We'll put our beef tips in here. Mmm, that looks good, don't it? Oh my goodness. You know what would just would have set this off? And I had some in there, some mushrooms. Yes, yes, yes. Mushrooms would have been very good in here. Okay. And I'm gonna set I'm gonna get as much of this as I can because now this gravy, Tim will like to put over his roll and over his potatoes. And... Yep. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Okay, here's our potatoes. Don't them look good? And here's our beef tips, okay? Now, we're going to do these, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these. I'm going to take this out of here, and I'm going to put it over here. 1109, 1109 divided by, we'll do 12. 92. Okay, so we're going to take this out of here. We'll do 92. Can you guys even see? I think you can. See what I'm doing here? 92. 71. 91. 92. Oh, this, it feels so soft. It is so soft. 92. Ninety-three. We'll just keep that. That made 12. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. See? Never fails. All right. Let's get our pan. Now, it's rose twice. These have rose twice. And if you want the recipe to these, just holler at me. I'm just going to put some butter on here. I want to put quite a bit on there. I've got some oil. I've got it oiled pretty good, but I don't want them sticking. Okay, so what you're going to do, what I do is... I take these and I just kind of pull them over, pull them all to the center, okay? 
like that. And then you're going to take them and you're going to roll them like that. And what you're doing is you're creating a, a tight skin on the top. Okay? Just like that. And then you're going to put it in your pan. And you want them to kind of touch. You want them to be close anyways. Pull it up and then roll it out. Okay? That's how you're going to do it. Let me get these over here. Now when these rise this time, we'll be putting them in the oven. And then I got a honey butter that I make, and it is delicious. I don't know if you can still see what I'm doing. You see that chocolate bread? I had a bread order, and um, look at that. It is so good. It's chocolate, double chocolate zucchini bread. It is amazing. Anyways, I had a double, or I had a bread order the other day, and I had a one left over, so guess where it got to stay? Like, we need that, but it sure is good. Okay. See, you're just going to pull it all. And you're going to hear some bubbles popping and stuff because there's air in there. Okay, let me get these finished. We'll run through these real quick and then we'll uh, let them rise. Okay. All done. Now, a lot of times, I, if I don't want it to dry out on top, I do this. So, I just take me a good portion of cling wrap here. And I spray it and I put it right over my pan so it don't stick to my rolls when it rises okay all right we'll wait for them to rise and then we're going to put them in the oven and by about that time you guys Tim should be home and be ready for a good meal okay so I'll see you here in a little while I want you guys to look at this while we were cooking in there, now what is this? Tell me what that is. Is it thunder ice? Is it thunder snow? Look at the little bee balls. Like, it was thundering while it was going on. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but ice or sleet. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> it's crazy again. It's crazy out here. Kind of neat though. Kind of neat. All right, you guys, I got the rolls done and I'm gonna put you down here where you can see them and we're gonna taste them. Didn't them turn out good? Let me get a pot lifter. Look at that. That look good. Okay, we're gonna try one. I made some honey butter, and look at that. <laughs> My grandkids are here too. Look here. Ooh, wee, that's hot. Ooh, I can't even pull it apart. It's so hot. <laughs> They're laughing at me. Let's just. Ooh, hot. <laughs> Y'all laughing now, but you'll be eating these later. All right, let's try it. You guys got the giggles. Okay, this is honey butter. You ain't tasting nothing better than this. I forgot to put my mic on. I hope y'all can hear me. Okay, look at this. That's honey butter. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> Boys, you're going to enjoy this. That is so good. If y'all want the recipe to my rolls, just holler at me. I don't know if I'll put them in the description underneath this video, but I will the beef tips. And um, if you want the roll recipe and the honey butter, <laughs> I have it all over my hands. Recipe, just give me a holler and I will 
put it in there somewhere in there underneath the uh, description. Okay? So good. Mmm. Okay. All right, I'm going to get off here, get ready for Tim to come home and feed him, and then I'm going to spend some time with my grandkids. Got another one coming, so we'll have three. So, Lord willing, I'll catch y'all on the next video. Bye.